Hello Capricorn viewers, sorry I was off for a little while, but I am back now. And as always, if you ever want a private reading, just send me an email. My email is dragonenchantress at aol.com, and that email address is right below in the description box below this video. Let's see what's going on with you guys. We've got open, honest communication message. Sorry, just bear with my camera. Give me a minute to give it a minute to adjust. Pride and stubbornness, fear of commitment. Adventure, honeymoon, vacation. Stagnation, complacency. Okay. So someone wants you basically, but they're being stupid. <laughs> Someone wants you, but they're being prideful. We have betrayal, jealousy, conflict. Hmm. Oh. Sadness. Hidden truth. Manifestation, power, intention. You might have done witchcraft and someone feels betrayed that you did witchcraft, but like they shouldn't feel betrayed. I mean, you have a right to do it. And that's just for one person, one or two people. That's not for most of you. Pulling them in, taking it slow, getting to know each other, anger and miscommunication. I feel like this person feels like you betrayed them or hurt them, but I don't know if you really did. It almost seems like there was some kind of disagreement. I'm going to pull some tarot cards, I think. Because it's like they want to send you a message and they want this this adventure and this honeymoon and this this you know new start with you. But for some reason it's stagnant. There seems like there's some pride and stubbornness and some fear of commitment. And there's some kind of betrayal here or some kind of jealousy that's causing pain. This could even be them causing their own pain. They might have just taken too long. They might have been stagnant for too long and now you're moving on with somebody else. And they're upset about it. You know, it's for some reason, it's almost, uh, I get like a sense of entitlement from this person where it almost feels like they feel betrayed or they feel jealous or they feel hurt by you. They feel upset. They feel really sad over you, but it really feels like for most of them, I think they cause their own pain or they might've overthought something. There might've been some kind of like miscommunication or something that caused anger and they might've overthought something that, and just kind of hurt themselves. Um... I feel like you've been manifesting, you know, love. You've been stepping into your power and trying to, you know, call the call in the universe to manifest what you want. And it's working. They're starting to come to you. I feel like there's some kind of hidden truth that was revealed here. Show me more about this love and show me about this message that they want to send. Nine of Swords. So Nine of Swords is like sleepless nights. It's um, anxiety, depression negative thoughts creating a negative reality so it feels like this person is heartbroken over you but it really feels like they hurt themselves page of wands four of pentacles four of pentacles can be greed it can be someone holding on to something too tightly five of pentacles that's, you know, it could be financial issues, um, anxiety, you know, more talk about anxiety to loss, being left out in the cold. We've got eight of pentacles. Queen of wands, the hermit. Three of Wands. Six of Wands. King of Swords. See, I think that you're you're in a very powerful energy, but you're in a more feminine energy, and this other person's in a King of Swords energy. And this could be male, male, or female, female. Um, you know, take it as it resonates. But it almost feels like feels like you've kind of outgrown this person this person feels like someone that really plays the victim a lot this feels like somebody that doesn't take responsibility for themselves it feels like somebody that um 
Like, I'm getting that they're in a lot of pain over you. Like, they miss you. They might be crying over you, having sleepless nights over you, even having anxiety attacks over you, thinking about you with somebody else. But this feels like somebody that chose someone else over you or they chose money over you. Or it just feels like somebody that just kind of caused their own pain. I think that they hesitated. They took too long to figure out what they wanted. They took too long to get it together. And now it's like they're studying you. Like they want to come back around. I feel like you might be studying as well. Like you're focused on yourself. You're the queen of wands. You're in hermit mode and you're kind of starting to get to that point where you don't mind it as much. You want to wait for the right person to come around. And then we have the Three of Wands and the King of Swords. See, I feel like this person is wanting to be, like, they're wanting your attention, but they're wanting it almost, like, in a toxic way where it's, like, they're, like, Six of Wands and King of Swords. It's, like, Six of Wands is about being in the public eye. King of Swords, it's, like, someone that's, like, stubborn and prideful. So it's, like, they're still worrying about their appearance. They're wanting your attention, but... feels like they're still just it just feels like they're causing their own pain is the overall energy I get from this spread is that somebody is, is hurting themselves like they're responsible for this they're the one that sabotaged this they can't really blame you for starting to move on if they you know couldn't figure out who they were or what they wanted or they put you on hold or whatever it might have been like they can't really pretend like they're a victim when they It just feels like such an entitled energy because we had the sadness card, but then we had betrayal, jealousy, conflict. And so I'm really getting that they feel like you betrayed them, but I don't know if you actually betrayed them. Like if you actually cheated on them or you actually um, like did something to really hurt them or if they, if they just did this to themselves, like maybe you just moved on or you gave them an ultimatum or you said that you were tired of waiting and instead of, you know, stepping up, they just kind of decided to play the victim here. What else do we, wanna, do we wanna say about this situation? Two of swords, seven of wands, four of swords. Yeah, I think that, I think that you fought for this long enough and I think now you're just healing yourself and you're in this queen of swords and queen of wands energy where you're just trying to live your best life. You're not trying to go back to being in this energy, you know, because back when you tried to build with this person, you ended up being trapped in the eight of swords. It's like you ended up eight of swords is someone where it's like you feel like a victim, like you feel like you're um, like there's swords all around you and you have your castle and your escape and true love and abundance right in front of you, but you can't know it. You don't even see it because you're so focused on the swords. And I feel like it was like that with this person. It's like you didn't recognize there was a way out. You were so focused on wanting to build with them and it felt like it was like almost one-sided and, you know, you kind of woke up from the eight of swords energy. You're like, wait a minute, you know, I don't need to keep focusing on this pain. I can, I can start healing myself. I can start working through this. I can... There is a way out of this, even if it hurts. And you stepped out of your comfort zone. So I don't really see you wanting to go back to this, to be honest. I'm getting, it's really interesting because I keep getting, like I've gotten this for quite a few of the Zodiacs, not all of them, but a lot of you guys I'm noticing are ending old karmic cycles right now, which is really beautiful. There's, there's two, there's two major timelines right now between, you know, the old karmic timeline and the destined timeline, the, the you know, the, the path that's best for your highest self. And a lot of you are ending these old karmic timelines, these old karmic cycles, and you're getting on the timeline that's going to bring you the most abundance, the most love and success and money and happiness. So it's a really beautiful thing. I mean, it's annoying that your exes are coming up, but it's also, I really like channeling that you guys are letting go of this though, that you're moving past this so you can get on the best timeline for you. Um, the hanged man in the wheel. Yeah, you're, you let it go. It's like you're letting it go or you let it, you're, you let it go. You know, five of swords, de the defensiveness, nine of swords. Yeah, you're being loyal and true to yourself. You're choosing yourself. You made a judgment call to let this go. Page of swords. Yeah, 
Yeah, focusing on yourself, on your finances, on your career, on your hobbies, on the things that make you happy. You're coming into your power. So I know that it's annoying when you guys get these messages because you're like, oh my God, like I don't want to hear about the eggs anymore. Why are they popping up? Well, there's a few reasons that they can be popping up. One of the main reasons that exes are channeled in these readings, exes that you guys are already over, one of the main reasons that they come through is if you have not yet ended the, the soul contract, if there is one, and also cut the cords. So we have these red cords that connect us astrally, telepathically, to um, like like basically you know psychically we have these core these red cords that connect us to our soulmates, to people that we've really loved and been close to in our lives. And if you leave those cords attached, they can still pick up on your energy and vice versa, even long after you guys have you know gone your separate ways. So when you're really done with someone, you need to cut the cords. You need to do a cord cutting ritual and you need to block them and be done because if you open yourself up to them and talk to them again, then those cords reattach themselves. So one reason this might be coming up is saying, hey, like, okay, end this. Get closure if you need it. And then do the cord cutting ritual and even uncrossing ritual and, you know, block them and clear your energy and move forward. You know, you don't have to stay stuck in this. So that could be one reason why, you know, they might not want you to be um, unprepared if this if this message comes through. Because it does feel like this person's sad over you. So it does feel like, you know, this needs to be cleared up. Um, but yeah, I don't think you want this anymore. I feel like you're you're you've kind of outgrown this. You're focusing on other things. What else is there to say about this reading? What else do you want to say? Yeah, you're the high priestess. You are becoming the high priestess. You're on the right path. It might be a warning too, like if this person comes back around, like don't believe that they've changed. If this person was toxic or abusive, emotionally unavailable, don't believe that they've changed and don't cave in out of loneliness because I really feel like you're becoming the best version of yourself right now. You're becoming the high priestess. You know, page of pentacles, it's like you're focusing on your destiny and on what you want. You're manifesting what you want. So don't give in to the loneliness. When this, If this message comes through, just use it as an opportunity to get closure and speak your peace and hit the block button. Be done. Yeah, find that balance. Find your strength. Keep your strength because if you can, if you can be strong and keep going on the path that you've been going on, you're going to be the high priestess. You're going to have, you know, fun and success and abundance and, and wealth and just really good thing and true love and everything. And all these good things coming in. But to get there, so we've got the magician, we got the five of wands too. To get there though, you have to you have to not engage with this person though. I mean, okay, you can engage with them in the sense of like getting closure and then blocking them. And when you know that you're really done, like when you have them blocked and you know that you're done talking to them, do the uncrossing and the cut and clear ritual and really move past that. But you can manifest this this, all this good energy. But don't don't give this person your energy again. They might try to, now that you're moving on, they might feel that you're moving on and they might try to be a psychic vampire and come back up and pull you back in and you have to be strong and you have to keep, you know, don't give into the loneliness. Keep focusing on the high priestess energy, on what you're becoming, on the life that you've been trying to manifest for yourself. Keep focusing on that path, even if it's lonely in the moment, because eventually it is going to lead to financial success and abundance. You know, your ships are going to come in with, with money, with career, and also with new love as well. Um, you know, you, you're going to be the magician. You're gonna, the world is going to be your oyster. You're going to be able to manifest this. But you got to make sure to end this. you got to make sure to cut the cords and continue to take your power back and not, get, not give in to this. So I hope that makes sense. As always, if you want a private reading, just email me. My email is below. And please like, share, comment, subscribe. My email is dragonenchantress at AOL.com. Thanks.